I'm Dr. Mary Estes, and I'm a professor of molecular virology and microbiology and of medicine at Baylor College of Medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Blute, and I'm the lead author on the manuscript. I'm an associate professor of molecular virology and microbiology and molecular and cellular biology, also at Baylor College of Medicine. I'm the director of the organoid core of the Texas Medical Center Digestive Disease Center, and today I'm going to tell you about the work in our manuscript. Signaling between organs affects most biological processes within the human body. One of the biggest communication highways occurs between the liver and the intestine. One important communication factor produced by the liver is a compound called bile. Bile is secreted by the liver into the small intestine where it plays an important role in emulsification and absorption of fats. When bile reaches the end of the small intestine, it is reabsorbed by transportation across the epithelium that lines the intestinal lumen. The presence of bile in the epithelium tells the epithelium to produce a molecule called FGF19. FGF19 and the recycled bile acid are carried back to the liver, where they tell the liver to turn off any new bile acid synthesis. Highways connect and allow travel between two cities. A highway reduces time to travel between the cities, enhances trade between the cities, and overall improves the capacity, efficiency, and safety of the city. At any one given time, it can be hard to estimate exactly what kinds of vehicles are on the highway or how fast or how slow they are traveling. However, a toll booth along a highway can momentarily stop the traffic and provide some information as, what, as to what is traveling between the two cities. Highways are much like the communication networks that exist between organs within the body. However, like a highway at any given time, it's hard to know exactly what signals are being exchanged between the liver and the intestine in the body. We need a toll booth to identify and characterize the factors going between the liver and intestine to better understand the enterohepatic interorgan highway. Previously, in vitro models to study human intestinal and liver interorgan communication had been limited to transformed cell lines. Recently, untransformed intestinal and liver stem cells have been able to be propagated in vitro. And manipulation of growth factors delivered to the media results in their ability to differentiate into fully functional epithelium called organoids. In the work we describe in this manuscript, we have taken these organoids and grown them in a transwell with a permeable membrane between them and established a communication pathway between the two tissues. To validate the two organoids were communicating, we added bile acid to the intestine and monitored its reabsorption by the intestinal epithelium, detected the production of the FGF signal, and then observe the turnoff of bile acid synthesis in the liver organoid as it responds to these two components supplied by the intestinal organ. In essence, we have used organoid cultures to develop a biological version of a toll booth, where we can slow down the traffic on the highway between the intestine and the liver to dissect the various components that comprise the interorgan communication between them. This system illustrates the power that organoid cultures will have in revealing novel features of human biology which can be applied to improving and enhancing human health.